Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to my all students. I hope that you all are fine. Alhamdulillah. So, in the beginning of our lesson, first we need to recite dua. So, raise your hand for dua. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi zidni. Ilma, O oh God, increase my knowledge. Ameen, Summa, Ameen. This is the video of for the subject of English for class 5. And we are going to study about spider web and mind map. Yes, we will read two concepts which are quite similar but don't worry you will find a little difference between both of them so you will be clear about both of these topic so let's begin with spider web first it is also given in your workbook on page number 71 so you may take help from it as well but here you have to focus on the video first. So moving on and coming towards our first topic that is spider web. Yes, as you all have seen the spider web and you know that how it is like. So now the question arises that how we can use the spider web in our subject. Let's have a look. Spider web basically a helping tool for us for composition. Yes, and it has steps for making. So, first step is through the ideas on the paper. When you have a topic to write the composition, first of all you need to put all the ideas on the paper about the topic which you have in your mind and next step is your ideas must include W's answers and plus how answer questions so when you will think about ideas your ideas must be related to the questions of W's and how do you know what are W's Okay, don't worry let me tell you it is also given in your workbook page number 71 that w's are what when where why who those questions which starts from these words okay and how questions are which start from how like how much how long and etc I hope that it is clear. Good. Now let's learn it more by an example. Let's take a topic, my hobby. So I'm giving you few seconds or few uh, one minute to think about the ideas about my hobby. Okay, so all have you have you thought about it? Good. So keep it, keep all the ideas in your mind, and now answer one by one the questions. Will I what I am going to ask according to the steps? You have you have completed the first step of spider web making. Now coming towards the next step. Now answer these questions. What is a hobby? A hobby is leisurable activities. What is my hobby? Think about it. Like my hobby is to reading books. Why did I start my hobby? Because it is a source of knowledge and enjoyment. 
Number three, why did I start my hobby? The same answer or maybe different. Next one is, how much time do I spend on my hobby? Like I usually spend one to two hours to read books. You will answer this question according to your hobby, okay? Good. How long have I had my, my hobby? Started in childhood. Yes, I have started in childhood. When did I start it? I started in childhood. Who are my heroes? Now, I selected my two heroes, Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and Salahuddin Ayyubi. Next and last one is, where do I spend my free time? So, where do I spend my free time? I spend my free time, visits, I visit, library, visit libraries and reading books there. So, we have answered these questions. Now, put it into the web. How we will put all these into the web? Yes. In the center, we will write our topic. And around this topic name, we will write the keywords of our answers which we have given about in the last clip about the like what is a hobby, what is my hobby, why did I start my hobby and so on. Okay, like I have written here in the circles around my hobby, my answers which I thought about my hobby because my hobby was reading book okay so i hope that it is clear very good now we are learning about mind map mind map has also some steps but before going further i would like to give you a main difference between mind map and spider web mind map basically to is used to delete the ideas that you don't want